This is the drive home with TT for the Millwall drive home. Driving home from the den, where it finished, Millwall 2, West Bromwich Albion, nil. Fall from top versus fall from bottom. Well, I've got to be honest, there's only one team that looked fall from top today, and that was the Mighty Lions. A performance and goals to go with it. And in my opinion, and I think pretty much most of the fans, both Millwall and West Brom and Jalbian that were there, they would say that we fully deserved the three points today. You know, we needed to build and, and move with the, with the Leeds performance. I felt we put a lot of effort in and come up against a very good side and, and, and they took their chances quite well and, and got three points. Well, we did that today. We, we looked probably one of the best I've seen us all season. I think that all round, other than maybe some of the finishing, I think all round, that was Mill's best performance of the season. And I know some of you out there that, that might disagree, but I can't remember, I can't recall any game where everything came together. We looked good, we looked good defensively. We, we were strong in the midfield and we, we looked threatening. You know, key standout players that I'll go to, but players, all of our midfielders today ran, ran well on the football. And we looked to keep possession. Obviously, it was easier when they went down to 10 men, but we looked to keep possession. I would say my target at the start of the season with this channel was to get 500 views. And I've been absolutely amazed by the support. And I know a lot of Leeds fans give me a lot of stick, but that happens, you know, that's banter. That's, that's what I want from this channel. And if you can leave a like, I want to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the season. Now, it would be absolutely amazing. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel because I really appreciate all of the support that I get. You know, I walk around the dead and people were talking to me and happy and it was it's such a good feeling to know that we are a community club but we get stick that we're this and you know even if you read the comments nearly every week it's oh scum well, i want you to come out of the league but there's a few fans of every single club that that show us respect and and like what we do and today i think epitomized our club very well you know they there were tireless, tireless runners in, in midfield and so we, we, was, we were compact and solid at the, black, the back. It didn't look like West Brom were ever going to score, to be honest. It, and it was going to, you know, you felt like it was going to take a set piece maybe that, which is normally where we're so threatening. But obviously they missed the penalty. So we'll go through to the starting lineup since I've talked a lot and I haven't even started with the starting lineup. I'm, just, I'm, I'm excited. I'm not going to lie. Um, starting lineup, we started well. We had an unchanged lineup from Leeds, and I did say I wanted to keep the unchanged lineup. I thought let's roll with this team for the rest of the season because I, I think it's got everything in it. You know, we started with Dave Martin in goal, who again put in a, a you know a solid performance. He, he, he didn't put a foot out of line, and today was a day where it wasn't our goalkeeper that made the mistake. It was West Brom's goalkeeper, and and, and mistakes in in goal cost you games and. Dave Martin seems like the goalkeeper that makes he, he makes less mistakes than, than Jordan Archer. You know, he. I'm not gonna knock, I'm not gonna knock Jordan because Jordan does what he does. But Dave Martin's come in and, and I feel more secure with him at the back. I'm still not comfortable sitting there with a two 0 lead, but I feel more com I feel more comfortable with Dave Martin in goal. And, and I thought like he had a, a decent game. You know, I thought his distribution was good as well. So I didn't think he had too much to do, funny enough. And for that reason, I'll give him a seven because he didn't have that too much to do. We had a we had a back four again. The same, like I said, it was, it's unchanged. But Marlon Romeo, I thought was absolutely amazing today. You know, he's looked a little bit suspect defensively today. He was solid as, as solid as a rock. And what I love about him is it, he's exciting to watch. You know, he's 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 getting more of an end product as well. You know, running on the ball and crossing and dribbling into the box and he, he, a couple of times he had lovely interplay with with all of the players around him and I was very impressed with very impressed with Marlon Romeo I thought he was probably second my second best player so I'll give Marlon Romeo an eight Alex Pierce Jake Cooper today I know Jake Cooper got caught out once and they got a penalty from it I don't know whether Gal was offside but Gal was a, a fantastic trick and little striker and he was always going to have that movement and West Brom's front three had movement today and we I think we marshalled it really well Alex Pierce has been a revelation in defence absolutely superb you know he was wearing a captain's armband he epitomised Millwall today in that he, he was so strong he was so 
effective in clearing out anything that came in and around him. And you can, you can ask no more. Give Alex Pierce a, a, a solid seven. It didn't make a mistake. I'll give Jake Cooper a seven just because, again, looked threatening, certainly in the offensive half of the field. Mopped up everything in the back. You look at the money that that, that front line garners. You know, you've got Dwight Gow, Hal robson Carlu. I don't, I don't really rate, I've got to be honest. But Jay Rodriguez as well, not long ago, was an England international. They've got a lot of quality up there. And they just, they didn't really get at us. And that, that's testament to not only the, 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 the back line, but the midfields. Um, so I'll give both of them seven. And then James Meredith, I thought, had a decent game today. You know, he's been caught out a few times at the back. He likes to get forward. And occasionally I'm like, if, if he gets forward, then obviously either Leonard or Tony Cliff has to come out and, and pull into left back. And sometimes we didn't do that. We got away with it a couple of times in the first half. Didn't really happen in the second. And I, I don't know whether Neil said to James, just just hold it, hold it, hold back a little bit more. And I think it made a difference. And so I'll give James a return to glory from him. That was his best performance of the season. And so I'll give James Meredith another seven. We'll move on to our five in midfield. Today, we won the midfield battle. We don't often do that, but we did that today. We had Jed Wallace on the right, who is exciting. You know, Jed Wallace, when he gets the ball, he, he, he reminds me of like, a child footballer that he has no worries. You know, he just plays football. His end product today was off again. You know, he, little, some wayward passing, but the interplay in around the box with a lot of the players was, was really good. And it's hard to knock a player that's trying so, diff so hard. It, a couple of his passes in got, got intercepted and, then, and they broke away. And for that reason, I'm only giving him a seven, but it, I, I thought he was excellent. I, I like watching Jed Wallace. He's, a, he's exciting to watch. In the, in the midfield, we had two holding midfielders in, in Ryan Tunnicliffe and Ryan Leonard, the two Ryans. And today, they were, at, again, absolutely superb. All, all three of our central midfielders were happy to go with that ball, happy to run into space, Happy to win. We looked more attacking today because they, they I don't know, they tried to, to get further forward and it was only right right near the end where we were dropping and dropping and dropping, which we do. But they they won a lot of balls in and around the box. And like I said, the interplay with the wingers today was excellent. Uh, you know, you just, you wonder where, where it's been in a lot of games because you think we, we played similar. We played Bolton. And we were just no like it was an awful performance. And then we, and we've played two of the top teams in the division, in Leeds, who are falling apart again, I must say. Um, and West Brom today, and for, for long parts of both games, we we looked by far the better team. And you, that's that's absolute madness that, that we'd be struggling when 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 that happens. But I'll give them both seven. Ryan Tunnicliffe's goal, you know, it, it sounds silly, but. Hit the target, you know, hit the target, he hit the target, the keeper makes a mistake and it's 1-0 and again, we deserve to be in, in front. We, we had more chances in that first half, you know, Gregory's had a chance and um, Gregory's had a chance where he's really got to get on, I'll move on to Gregory in a minute. But then we've got Ben Thompson sitting in front of them, uh, the two Ryans in midfield and Ben Thompson, before I do anything else, was my man in a match. Ben Thompson was, I, I said I like watching and Jed, and I, and I do like watching Jed, but Ben Thompson today was one of the best, there can't be many better players in the league at the moment than Jed Wallace. And I don't say that because he's one of our, one of our own. I'm saying that because he absolutely run that today. He was so good on the ball. You know, he went for three players at one stage and, and, and took a shot off his left foot that, that went wide. He makes the second goal where he cut. He, it's a brilliant ball out from Jed. He cuts in down the byline, cuts it back, and it goes in off the toilet brush. At Hagazi for for two 0 and we it, obviously he had chances after that. But I, I thought he was absolutely superb. You know, he still jumps so high, gets up. He was like, I felt like that West Brom was starting to fail him. They couldn't stop him otherwise, and that's always a good sign. I even like, I go on about my kids' football team, but I, t I tell my boys that like to dribble, that like to run on the ball. If you're getting fouled consistently, it means that the, the opposition don't know how to stop you. They can't stop you legally, so they bring you down. So the best way to show what you've got is to keep doing it. Get back up. Don't get wound up. You know, like Hagazi did, we got he got wound up with Gregory, and it got, eventually got him sent off, but you know, Thompson was just absolutely superb today. I, I have to give him a nine. There's no other, I, I can't not. I thought he was absolutely superb. And then we had Ben Marshall on, on the right. And 
Last two games now, Ben Marshall has been superb. Two games in a row where he's got the ball at his feet, he's, he's, he's tracked back, he's defended really well. A couple, like I said, a couple of the players made mistakes and we didn't get punished for it today. And, and that's surprising considering the quality West Brom have got. But um, I thought Marshall had a, a really nice game and I'll give him another seven. And then we had Gregory up front. Now, it, I'm not, I'm not going to like talking about Gregory today because Gregory worked in and around his assisting play and his build-up play was excellent. You know, it was absolutely superb. And there's no doubt that without him up front, we don't score the goals that we score. But he is a striker at the end of the day and he will be probably sitting at home tonight wondering how he hasn't come away with at, at least a hat-trick. He's had three glorious chances to, to score you know, the first half where one's laid back and he's, 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 he's scuffed it wide. And in the second half, he's been put through. He's kind of been out-muscled by, by Hagazi. And then it, from that same move, the ball comes back out to him. And he, he just, you know, he's put through. He's one-on-one. -on -one. He's got all the time in the world and he takes it first time. It is a decent save by the goalkeeper, but he, he really should be... You know, he really should be tucking at least one of those, any one of those away would have been enough to, to, to win us all three, uh, like make, make us feel even more comfortable for the three points. But it was a good all-round solid performance. When you look at who we've got to come, we've got QPR on Wednesday. You know, I'll talk about West Brom for, for a quick moment because I've been asked to, to talk about the, 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 the teams that are playing us. So I'll give a minute on, on West Brom. I thought I was surprised with their lack of drive to be honest like I said the movement from their front three was excellent and Dwight Gow is is, is an excellent striker and just got, he absolutely got no he got no balls he got no he got nothing given into him he, he wasn't able to get on the ball and run I thought Chris Brunt had a decent game and but you know Brunt and Livermore in, in the centre of midfield I was expecting them to come and dominate like other teams have come to the den and with the possession and really spray the ball around I was very surprised in the lack of I don't know, the, the lack of confidence and ability in, not necessarily ability, but the lack of drive in, in that midfield because they should have it. Um, we'll move on to ref watch now. James Lillington was the ref and he was, you know, he was a bad ref. I'm not, I'm not going to say he was biased, but he was just not very good. You know, tackles coming in from both sides that should be fouls that weren't given. Then he blows up for, 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 for silly decisions and he just, it, 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 there was no flow to the game because I think, he, I think the ref killed it. Hagazi's got sent off in the game, deservedly so. He's, he's, he's tussled with Gregory. It's a booking. It's a booking all day long. And then he absolutely rifles the ball into the, into the crowd. Like, it weren't, it weren't a kick away to waste time. He absolutely smashed it into the crowd, which is another booking. And it's, and it's, it's, it's send it off. And it was game over at that stage. Um, the penalty was difficult to see from our end. I think Cooper's given him... Like, he has... He's bundled him over a little bit. It's hard to argue against it. I don't know whether he was offside, but he's been beaten behind. It was the, the big mistake from the defence today that, that could have cost us. And we, like I said, we've got a bit of luck. We've got a bit of luck with their keeper making a mistake. And then we've got a bit of luck with, with him missing the target. You can't miss it. You cannot miss the target it, from, from, from 12 yards. It's just, you're a professional footballer and, and he's a very good, good player. So you expect better. I thought West Brom sang well, um, their fans, until until they conceded and then they, I think they struggled really to get back into the game. They could see, I think they were a little bit disappointed with what they were seeing from their own players. I think they expected to come to the den and, and, and kind of roll us over and it, it, it didn't happen that way. I felt like our crowd on the opposite, I thought we were very quiet before we scored. You know, think when you're winning, you, you, get, you get called a lot, but we did that a little bit today, but I think we powered them over the line enough. Like I said, please leave a like on the video if you don't mind. And my wife is now going to bring in a, a little poster for the Wonderwall Cup. We'll try and get it on there. Like I said the last time, please try and get tickets for it because, see it? Uh, we've got the F2 freestylers and all loads of Lions legends. You know, it would be a great present for a kid, you know, for birthday presents and all that. £10 for adults, £5 for kids. You cannot go wrong. And when I'm feeling like this, I, I, I feel like buying them all that. But... It was a good day. We've got QPR on Wednesday, which is an absolutely massive game. You know, Rotherham won today. I think there's four teams separated by one point, and one of them's going to go down. I hope it's not going to be us, and I think that we'll take a big, 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 big step 
on, when, uh, on Wednesday night. My Lions, my under eight Lions are going to be, le uh, are, are the guard of honor, they'll be waving the flags um, as we come out. And I've got, you know, it's Zach's birthday this week. Zach, who's your man of the match? Um, Thompson, and in the team lineup, I think he deserves 9.5 or a 10. 9.5 9 or a 10. Um, I can't really argue with that. So yeah, it's Zach's birthday on, on Friday. So all of the lines are coming to, to be guard of honour, and I'm, and I'm, it's a massive, massive, massive game. You cannot underestimate it. I felt today took the pressure off a little bit, and the players have got confidence. We go into that game playing decent football. We we passed it around so well today. I was so impressed with that. We just didn't keep le pumping it long, and I think the five in midfielders helped us play decent football. We created chances and we took a couple of them today. Hopefully we'll take a couple more against QPR on Wednesday. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you don't mind. I want to get at least 150 likes and the thousand subscribers by the end of the season. Can you do it? Leave your comments. Driving home down the A13 with three beautiful points. Come on you lions!